using more than what a band would use, a full blast. It's just the lights. Yeah. Well, all together. Well, maybe if the lights are powerful enough, we just yeah. want to plug these other ones. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Rolling. Rolling. Ich habe gar nicht groß auf.
do a pitch. Uh, oh, great. Tim, I, I, so, you want to do so screen them? Yes. On my silver, like yeah. mirror, like the silver. Okay. Okay. Like, uh, one. That would be easy because what I want to do is the window. This is the idea. Uh -huh. The print would be. The reason it's small size is that would be. Uh, the right right is silver, and then there's some theory that you can do And we have two colors. How many in addition? Figure. Yeah. But superimposing over that, or, or painted off by hand. It would, it would be painted. It wouldn't. It would be painted. The silk screen would be. The painting would be photographs. The photo, I mean, the painting. A, a painting would be done that size. Mm -hmm. Half some transparency would be made and transferred in, onto the screen. You know, so it wouldn't be it'd quite. I would like it to have the only requirements it would need. It would need to have quite a lot of gradation, tonal. Gradation. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be able to get that on my line, though? That, that's what I don't know. I don't know if you can. <coughs> yes. What kind of an investment would it take to do something like that? Well, basically, we'd like to cut the. I, could we do I, it I ourselves? Some, some printers and. Then, I mean, the actual. Oh, yeah, we could. So we could. We've done a lot of that. Yeah. That's yeah. we're used to that. I mean, we're, or we could have pay someone to do it. Yeah, so give we them make the screens, of course. Oh, yeah. There's yeah. a place on 14. Yeah. 13. 13. No. Right next to. Um, Frank Stella Studio. Yeah, that, that makes, makes it right next to that makes, they make all the ones for him. They make them for a lot of people. They made me a screen a long time ago. We had them done in Soho quite a while back. This one is really good. Yeah. yeah. When we did Judy's poster, it was the same. You did it on? Yeah, we did it yeah. ourselves. Yeah, four, 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 four screens. So, yeah. But did you make the screens? Or you oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of a mess. <laughs> two paintings here. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> sure. Why don't you take it down and... and, and mm -hmm. Well, th this also relates to the, my work in general because... Yeah, excuse me, okay. <laughs> Rolling? No, yeah. This is almost like a little sketch. It's um, meant to be used as a, as a reference reference to, uh, for, for the actual pa painting. I mean, um, it, it's a, it's um, like presenting um, American mythology, and um, it's... Uh, Why is it on, on, on this Marlboro? Because Marlboro propagates this American mythology. It's ex Marlboro, ex you know, created this image of America that, that's exported throughout the world, you know. And it's, it's a myth, you know, death, I just thought of it as a, a, a contemporary myth. Do you think that the horse and, 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 and the black figure is still the American myth? Well, actually, the, the black figure and the black, the silhouette cowboy is something I did. You know, th so it, it's a reference to, um, my work in general deals with silhouettes, the shadowy silhouette. But, so this is a silhouette, but it's not a, just a human figure. It's got it's a silhouette of a horse. Um, so there's the reference to me and to my work in general. But the direct reference to this painting 
is um, is 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 the um, the sociological implications of it. It's an American mythology, and this is a you know, painting of a rodeo scene. Um, but it, yeah, it's only meant to be used as a reference. Thank you. But, yeah. What's most important about this is the way it's painted, the expressive uh, quality of the painting, the process of painting is the expression at the same time. And it's, um, this, what's secondary is, is um, the meanings and, and the implications. What do you want to express by the way you paint it? <clears throat> the, the, you know, the power of a horse, the ex expressive nature of a horse. The way it's, uh, so it's a pretty strong. And um, the way it's, spl it's splattered, and the you know, paint flies off the, off, the, off the top, it's painted like with my hands. That, all that kind of splattered paint gives it life. You know? And same uh, with down, down here, the way it's splashed on. Um, it's, I don't know, it's a, I, it just really gives it life. And, uh, it just sort of works. I, I look at a lot of horse paintings and study it. Even the drips seem to be part, part of it. Uh, it's, it's the way it's painted that gives it this life. And that's what I was trying to do. here in the East Village now. Uh, when did you open yours? Uh, about 18, 19 months ago. Uh, can you tell me why you opened your gallery here? Uh, well, see, when we first came here, we, it, we didn't plan to open a gallery. This used to just be my apartment and where I, I painted because I'm a painter as well. And um, we, I, we would throw parties every once in a while and put some work up on the walls, you know, and it would just be for one night, like a regular, party and then uh, I don't know people would stop by and while I was painting or something and ask if it was a gallery or anything and Fun Gallery had opened down the street and they're friends of mine and so between them uh, suggesting that we open a gallery and the fact that we had the storefront then so that's how we became a gallery it wasn't something like we rented a place and then decided oh you know this is going to be a gallery or something in the middle of the ghetto it just this was where we could afford to live so we came to live here and then it just sort of evolved out of that, you know, so it wasn't really planned. Now, is, is that true for the other galleries too? Uh, no. <laughs> after that, I think they became planned, you know, because after um, Fun Gallery and Civilian Warfare, there were like two or three more that opened specifically to be galleries, you know, because this was a place where um, you could still get a space that was cheap enough, even though it was kind of small, but, you know, the feelings were high and, uh, the rent was affordable and then people who had the idea of uh, wanting to show their work but not being able to get into the, you know, the more established gallery system, this became an alternative and then after a while there were five of us that stayed here for about a year and a half and now there's in the last three months another 20 galleries have opened but they are all, now it's a phenomenon, you know, now it's become a real um, a sort of a socio-political issue in a way, you know, the fact that all these places are opening. Would you say that um, uh, since these are different kind of galleries, these are not the Soho galleries uh, which are quite expensive to rent, um, the artists that are presented here are different kind of artists? Oh yeah, definitely. There, there are people that um, well, I mean, not in, in all cases, but certainly at the outset, there are people that maybe the established gallery system couldn't have taken the chance on showing, you know. 
Um, so other people have mentioned, you know, like our overhead here is very low, so the pressure on us in terms of making money or, or selling art is much less, even though, I mean, that's what we try to do. You know, it's like nice when you sell a picture, but it was never really a big problem. I mean, if we didn't sell anything, we didn't sell anything for the first 14 months that we were here, you know, but we worked during the day at other jobs, and see, the, the thing was that a lot of these artists, you know, couldn't really get into the gallery system because it was so fully booked and scheduled. There's like thousands of artists in New York and it's a very political situation in terms of being able to get into the established, you know, quote unquote established uh, system. So these became alternate spaces just by virtue of the fact that most of the people that were here were really new uh, talents, you know, in terms of, uh, I think almost everyone we show is either under 30 or under 25. So that had a lot to do with it. You know. And do you see a different way of painting? Yeah, uh, I th yeah, different, well, it's kind of hard to say. It's different, it's different in its exuberance, I think, and in its energy and its spirit. I don't think it's contrived or, or plotted or, or manipulated, and it hasn't had the opportunity to be uh, ruled by you know commercial instincts or to be you know tainted by commercial instincts. Um, we let an artist do, you know, when they come in here, they we don't tell them what they can put up or where to put it or what color the walls could be or the floor or anything, and we change it every month. It's like the space becomes the artist's sort of studio or workshop or environment for that period of time. So um, perhaps all of that um, uh, sort of freedom to do whatever you want and not really have to feel like any kind of great um, you know, obligation to the rest of the world in terms of explaining why you do it this way uh, made it different. You know. Now it's like, the, if, of course, if you're a very, really wealthy artist, you can do whatever you want. But you know, there's a middle ground there where people who are just trying to get along or whatever have to cater to some kind of things. And here, we don't have to cater to anybody. Thank you very much. That's OK. A real profession. One, one more question, too. Yeah. What do you think what? of the percentage of like in Soho, there's maybe there's probably 10 percent 10, 10 of the artists are really good. Yeah, they are really good. Oh, that's and good. and even and now that there's like 25 galleries in the East Village, yeah, each having a show a month, uh -huh. or two, you know, that's quite a lot, quite a few shows. And what do you, you know, it, just because it's in the East Village, it doesn't mean that. What do you think the percentage of of artists of good could, artists in the East Village? Yeah, is it like 10 percent also? Well, no, you know, it's funny. I can't. More like 25 percent. Yeah, I can't really, I don't think I would want to speak for, well, I could actually, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, if I spoke for the rest of the East Village, I couldn't answer that question because in my own opinion, we'd be back to 10% of it is good. But if we're talking about like one or two spaces that I happen to think are really of the highest caliber, I would say that in those two spaces, probably 90% of what they show is really top quality, and I think this is one of them, but I can say that because it's my space, so, but I think a lot of people would agree with me, too, so, you know, that's the odd thing, it's like we've been labeled as an East Village phenomena, you know, and the whole neighborhood has been lumped together, which was okay when there were five of us that were good friends with each other, and everybody knew everyone, and we were all from this neighborhood, and it was like a, a whole melting pot at that point, you know, now here we are two months later and there's 25 galleries and we don't know the other people so well and yet what we see you know might give us the indication that in the long run we're going to you know it's all going to end up being quite similar in that there are only a certain percentage of really great artists and even among the young, even among the young and that's not going to you know that's i think that's something that just historically repeats itself but I think that quite a few of them, I think the new generation of really brilliant painters, American painters, are showing like at this gallery or at Gracie Mansion or Fun Gallery. And just, you know, in those three. And I can't say about the other 23 well, I think galleries. Electric also. Yeah. It was one of the earlier ones also. Yeah, there's like been a bunch. You know, there are some that are really good. 
we won't have we won't know the answer to his question about what percentage for maybe another five years when we see uh, how many of us are even still here. You know. Generally, it's all the main concern is is important art. Yeah. In Soho, you get a mixture of decorative work which is not has no value in any in any sense. I feel that's what I that that eliminates a huge percentage of the work in mm -hmm. Soho. It's purely marketed as decorative stuff, which, uh, and at least in the all, every gallery I can think of in the East Village, uh, uh, there's a sincerity as far as making you know, art goes, not just make the right creating product. Right. Um, paintings that are new and ex innovative and, and, and have some value. As, uh, I think you know best what art is when you haven't had a chance to get cynical about your art. <laughs> That's, and we haven't had a chance to get cynical. Mm. Neither have most of our artists. You know, we haven't been here long. Enough. I think in the next like five years, we'll really see. You know, I think Richard, for instance, is someone who's going to go on for a, an entire career that's going to really amount and mean a lot in terms of history. You know, there's a couple of others that show here and around the neighborhood who I also think are going to develop that way. You know, but I think maybe over the next 20 years, there'll be you know, tenor, maybe we'll up it, maybe it'll be 15% of the artists are really excellent or something. But it's kind of a time question, isn't it? There's always been a time question you know. in uh, art history, but... It, Whether I, something's I, good or not. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's... Yeah. I guess... Uh, maybe I shouldn't have gotten started, but there are a bunch of galleries on 57th Street and so on that seem to sell nothing but decorative art that has mm -hmm. no value in art history. Or safe, yeah. You know, Real it's, safe. You know, and that, that, those kind of galleries get confused with the major galleries that are important. Catalogs by Steve. que la otra unidad porque como yo estoy bien buscado con la otra unidad Thank you. 